In this video, I am going to show you how to import a validated Excel sheet data to Laravel database. First, let's look at what we will build. Here, we can see the browser where there is an option to upload an Excel sheet. Also, I have displayed the data in the database in a table just below the upload button. In the bottom, we can see the dbeaver window where I have opened the corresponding table. Let's look at the Excel sheet we are going to upload. The sheet has five columns with headings and two rows of data. Let's upload this file and see the results. Great, the two rows in the Excel sheet was imported successfully. We can verify this by refreshing the table in the database as well. Let's upload this Excel file with missing data. The sheet will not be uploaded. Instead, it will show validation errors. In this case, it shows that all the fields are required. We also have a validation rule that says the email address must be unique. Here, peter at gmail.com is already in the database. Let's try to upload this sheet with same email address. We can see the error message that says email address on row 2 is already taken. Let's change the email address and try uploading again. Great, the two rows in the Excel sheet was imported successfully. We can verify this by refreshing the table in the database as well. Let's create this application from scratch next. Here, we have a fresh install of Laravel 8 up and running. Let's create a student model. Also add the M and C flag for migration and controller. In the student model class, assign protected guarded property to an empty array to allow mass fillings of all the columns. We will add name, gender, grade, email and mobile number as strings. Also note that the email address has a unique constraint. Let's create a database for our application. This can be done from any database client like dbeaver or phpMyAdmin. Let's connect our application with database by modifying the .env file. Let's run our migrations. Let's change the welcome view to display form for uploading the Excel file.
we will include the file type input with name of student underscore file and an accept attribute so that only the files with the extension mentioned can be uploaded. Let's view the form. We will also have a table below the upload button which will show all the students in the database. The student's data will be passed to this view later. For now, let's include this as well. Let's modify the root root next. The root root slash will be handled by the index method in the student's controller. Let's create the index method in the student's controller. The index method will get all the students from the database and pass it to the welcome view. Let's check. Right now table and upload button are touching. So, let's add some margin on top of table. Let's add action attribute to the form. The form will be submitted to the root import. ENC type attribute is very important here. Don't forget it. The import root is a post root. It will be handled by the import method in the student controller. Let's create the import method in the student controller. We are going to use Laravel Excel package for importing Excel file.
Let's install it using Composer. Let's create an import class named Students Import using the package we just installed. You might need to restart Visual Studio Code for the package to be registered correctly. Let's use the Students Import class to import the uploaded Excel file as shown. We will return back after the upload is done. Let's look at the Excel sheet we are going to upload. The Excel sheet has a heading row. So we are going to have our students import class implement with heading row interface as well. Let's iterate through each row in our Excel sheet and put the information in a data array so that we can use it to create a row in the database table. Let's create record in the database for every row in the Excel sheet. Let's upload the Excel file and check. Perfect. The Excel sheet was imported successfully. Each row data in the Excel sheet was converted to a student in our database. Let's upload another Excel sheet with some missing values. Each column in the database has not null constraint. So, we are getting this error. We need to validate the Excel data before trying to create a record in database. To add validations, our class needs to implement another interface called with validation. Now, we need to override the rules method that returns an array of validation rules. We can use all the Laravel validation rules here. Let's make all the fields required. Let's add unique validation rule for email address. Let's upload the missing data sheet and check if our validation rules work. We are not being shown the database error. So the validations worked. Now, we need to show the validation errors that caused a failed upload.
Let's check. Great. The exact reasons for unsuccessful upload is being listed now. The grade column is not being validated. Let's fix that and check again. Great. All the required rules are being fired. Let's also check the unique validation rule we put. John at gmail.com is already in our database. So let's upload this Excel sheet with same email address. Great. Unique validation is also working. Now, at last, let's upload a valid Excel file and see if it works. Perfect. Excel sheet which passes all validation tests are successfully imported. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment. Also consider subscribing for more videos like these.